Hey guys, it's Kay Chris and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special video. It's going to be a makeup tutorial for the upcoming Qatar Airways cabin crew interview days. If you don't know yet already, Qatar Airways is going to Manila this September 24, 2017 and if you are planning to go and you would like to know how I do my makeup if I was going there, just keep on watching. So we are starting off with this Flawless Face Foundation Primer by Absolute New York. I like this one because it is paraben free daw. So it's all organic and primer is very important to make your makeup last very long. That's why I use a primer. And next we're gonna use this Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. I'm in the shade 20. I like using this um, concealer because maganda yung coverage niya. And also it is very light and hindi siya nagki-crease masyado. I like using a damp sponge to blend it all in and uh, that is all. Actually, pwede yung siya for everyday pero since we're going to a recruitment, we're gonna use another Fit Me foundation. Okay, I'm using a foundation brush for this one kasi maganda yung finish ng brush. If you use a foundation brush, it's like a airbrush finish. If you Here naman, I'm using the Coty Air Spun. I'm in the shade Translucent to bake our face. So baking is a new technique that is used here in the makeup community. This will give you that um, walang hulas look. <laughs> How do you say this in English? Parang this give you a very flawless look and also it helps set in the foundation and the concealer. It helps set in in your skin. So usually, people bake under their eyes only, but I like to bake my whole face so that my makeup will last longer. And now we are going for the eyebrows. I'm using this Designing Eyebrow Pencil from Face Shop. I'm in the shade Grey Brown. And this is a technique I learned from the makeup class that we created. So you should start the side of your nose tapos um, I'm measuring the, the highest point that is from the side of your nose to your pupil and then measure as well yung ending which is the side of your nose to your uh, side of your eyes and then kung saan napunta yung lapis dun yung ending na dapat like on this spot so I'm just drawing my uh, eyes uh, my eyebrows right now and I want to fill them up with Anastasia Deep Pro Pomade because the finish of Anastasia is so much, I don't know, I like it so much more natural for me. But if you don't have much budget yet, going for pencil on this step will surely suffice. I just like using this one because I really like the Anastasia Deepro. And to finish my eyebrow routine, I'm using the Give Me, Give Me Bros by Benefit for the uh, finishing touches. It's a jelly pour. Um, and then now we are using a concealer to give our eyebrows a clean look. This is very important. This helps your eyebrows stand out on your face kasi nga malinis yung palibot niya. So now I'm just using this concealer brush to blend all the concealer in my face. And para hindi siya masyadong obvious, nanilagyan mo ng concealer. Just blend it all in. And now let's go for the eye makeup. So I like using this Maybelline Blush Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. For my base, I like to use the Shimmery White one. This is a basic eye makeup for this because I would like to emphasize this makeup look on the lips. So I just want to have a basic eyeshadow look. And then uh, on the outer piece, I'd like to use this brown eyeshadow from Kiko. And I put it this way because this complements my chinky or chinita eyes. So I just like putting it outside there because this makeup is highly pigmented. 
and then I'll just blend it all out. And then right now, uh, I finished blending it. So I'm going to use this shimmery white again, uh, shadow for the under the eyebrows. And now to accent on my eye makeup, I'd like to use this pink shimmery uh, eyeshadow with a wet brush so that uh, I would put it in the middle part of my eyelids. So this will give my look um, that very shimmery look but not overdone. So on my waterline, I'd like to use a smaller brush, eye brush, so that I could uh, water under my eyes. I'm using the pink shimmery shade for this. And now let's go on for the eyeliner. So this one is from Lakme, and I really like to use the black eyeliner, especially for Middle Eastern airlines that I am applying for. And going with a uh, liquid uh, eyeliner as well, because this is very important. This is the Arabic style makeup, and you have to make sure that um, you do this on your makeup because it it really defines your eyes. And um, the Arabic recruiters really likes this type of makeup because this is basically what you're going to do on your work as a flight attendant. So now let's just dry it up. And let's move on to the contour, highlight, and brush. Right now, I'm just taking off our baking. We're just finishing it. See? So it's very nice. So I'm using the Douglas Contouring Palette. And I'm using the light brown shade over my hairline. So that I don't look like a ghost, okay? So that my makeup blends out. And also, uh, I'd like to use this contouring shade uh, on the side of my cheeks after I've finished my hairline. I'm also using this um, contouring brush. It's very effective. So yeah, I also put the um, contour shade on the side of my cheek just to give it a little bit definition and this is what it looks like and now we're using this MAC powder blush in the shade Dame just to cover all of our cheekbones and to also blend it out to the contouring uh, makeup that we used earlier so I like to uh, do my face like this para mag stand out yung cheekbones ko and once lumabas na yung bones uh, I will cover that area and also I try to smile to put some blush also on the apples of my cheeks and put it all over my face. So this is my e.l.f. baked highlighter. I like using this ever since I've discovered it and I'm using this highlighter brush, pan brush, to put it on the apples of my cheeks and also on the sides. It's important to put it on the sides so that your makeup is three-dimensional. It's not just on the front. Okay, so this is a really nice technique I learned and also um, put a highlight on your nose bridge, on your forehead, chins, and your cupid's bow. Now let's do our noise, nose line. <laughs> um, so nose line is life, especially if you're Filipino. And I'm just using the shade Naked from the Naked Palette, uh, Urban Decay Naked Palette. So I like putting it from the end of my eyebrows, the beginning of my eyebrows, to the tip of my nose, uh, just so ever so lightly, and then blend it out with the highlighter and blend it all together. So it doesn't look scary, but it's there. Um, now I have forgotten to do my eyelashes, so I'm just curling it with my Shu Imura eyelash curler. And um, you could definitely use falsies if you want to or false, false lashes, but I don't recommend it because it's not allowed if you are already working as a flight attendant. So I just curl my lashes and use this um, Maybelline Falsies Mascara to hopefully create that falsies effect. I like using uh, most of the product on the lower part of the eyelashes para hindi siya bumaba. Kasi pag masyadong mabigat yung nasa taas, it will fall down. So parang hindi na masyadong aakit yung lashes mo. So I also like uh, using the product on my under lashes. So it gives my eyes a very 
uh, defined look or a weak look. So, may mascara sa taas, may mascara din sa baba. And kung may mga kalat, uh, I use uh, cotton buds to clean it up. For the lips, I'd like to start with a lip liner. I'm using Kiko Comfort Lip Liner. This is very nice and very creamy. And I use it to line the outer, you know, just to put an outline on my lips. And as well as put a lip liner all over the lips because this is a great technique to make sure that your lipstick lasts so much longer than it would ordinarily will. And for our lipstick, I'm using Sephora in the shade Rouge. This is a really nice color. It reminds me of the Qatar Airways uniform. That's why I like it and that's why I chose it for this makeup look. To have a 3D effect, I'd like to use the white shimmery eyeshadow in the middle part of the lips to make it more defined or 3D. And here we are. If you have a makeup setting spray, you are done. And this is the final look. One last tip if you are going to apply for the Qatar Airways Open Day interviews is that forget about your competition because you are there on a mission. Make sure that you focus on yourself, focus on your preparation, be aware and be present. And if you want to know more about how I was able to get my job as an international flight attendant, if you want to know my secret, I would like to recommend you to check out my book. This book is ready for takeoff. I written it myself because all those days that I was applying for the uh, the job position, it has been a lot of failures and I've learned from them and all the lessons that I learned, I written all on this book right here. So this book will help you prepare physically, emotionally, psychologically, mentally, you know, prepare for the questions that's going to be asked and as well as spiritually. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out my book. It's on shopee.ph. My Shopee, my Shopee shop is called Kcris and it's also available on my website misskcris.com and if you are not in the Philippines, you can check it out at amazon.com So that's it for the tutorial guys. I hope that this has helped you a lot and I will see you guys on the next video Check out my book and we will fly with you soon. Bye! Hey guys, I'm testing this video kasi napakaingay dito sa bahay. May parang may nagko-construction. Tapos parang may kumakanta. Ayun, may kumakanta sa kapitbahay namin. I don't know if this video can pull through.